Hello and welcome to the Combustion Therapy Channel. Today we'll be discussing the electronic power steering relearn procedure for these Hondas with an electronic power steering rack. This covers many modern day Hondas along with some older Hondas including the Honda Fit or Jazz, Honda Civic, and even the Honda S2000. While this procedure is not overly complicated, it can be a little bit frustrating at times ensuring that the calibration did stick. This tutorial can be useful in instances where you might have recently replaced your rack and pinion, had a wheel alignment, or perhaps your vehicle just likes to turn itself all on its own. Sketchy Honda steering racks. While you may be led to believe that the process can only be completed using an OBD code reader with the proper functionality, this is not true and can actually be completed at home with a quick jumper harness. We need to jump pins 4 and pins 9 in the OBD2 connector. I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. To jump connectors 4 and 9, we can use a regular piece of multi-strand wire or even just a piece of single strand copper wire with the coating sanded off the ends as I've done. The connector on our Honda Fit is a little tucked away here, but once we've located it, these are the connectors which need to be crossed. On the top row, you'll find pin number 4 on the 4th pin from your left, and pin number 9 you'll find on the 1st pin on the bottom row. With our jumper wire in place inside the OBD2 connector, ensuring our wheels are straight, we begin by placing the key inside the ignition, turning it 2 clicks forward, waiting for our power steering light to illuminate, turning the wheel 45 degrees to the left, recentering it once the power steering light has gone out, waiting for the light to turn back on, bringing the steering wheel back to the 45 degree left position, and once more bringing it back to the center position, waiting for our light to flash twice to confirm that the relearn procedure has been completed. Let's give it a try. And with that, we have two flashes confirming that our power steering has been reset. In our instance, I'm not sure this is going to do much for us. This Honda Fit had an extreme pull to the left. It was very severe, and I think it is going to result in a rack and pinion replacement. I was hoping that relearning the torque and steering angle sensors would do something for it to alleviate the issue. But in my prior attempts, this has not been the case. While ineffective in my case, Hopefully your scenario will be a little different. I know this tutorial can be very useful after a wheel alignment and things of that nature. If you get anything out of it, don't forget to like the video and certainly subscribe to the channel for more content to follow. Thanks for watching.